Welcome to the iShares Studio Chats, a series of interviews featuring one-on-one -on -one conversations with BlackRock and industry leaders, where we explore the macro themes and trends shaping today's markets. I'm Christy Akulian, your host. Let's get started. So Rick, obviously there is a great deal of uncertainty and volatility in markets right now, and yet you seem to be more excited than ever. So why is that? So usually, I mean, I've been most of my career, when there's this great uncertainty, you think about, I'm going to go to the sidelines. When you went to the sidelines, it was a zero in terms of yield. I mean, you had central banks keeping rates at zero or negative for a really long time. And sitting on the sideline means, or taking low risk, meaning holding short end interest rate products, there was no, you got nothing for it. Now, central banks have, are trying to deal with inflation. They've gotten to levels that are restrictive. And that's a pretty good runway from there. It's like, wow, well, I can clip the coupon. I don't have to worry about last year. I had to worry about being bludgeoned in terms of price return. Today, I feel like you've got very generous yields. By the way, you have very generous yields in quality assets. So you don't have to normally to get income in a portfolio, take more risk, take more beta, own more, whatever the asset class is that was risky. Today, you could do it in high quality liquid assets. And that is something that I haven't seen in a really, really long time. I mean, this era, hopefully forever, of negative interest rates is behind us. You've got real, real rates, so you can beat the rate of inflation without taking a lot of risk. So, Rick, one of the things that you've said is that we've seen several different regimes, even just in 2023. I think that regime change has been really painful and, and complicated for institutional investors. But one of the things that you've argued is that adding in you know, flexibility within a portfolio can add to resilience. So tell us how you do that. How do you add flexibility and resilience into your portfolio? I mean, you think about, by the way, if you go back to last year, I mean, it was pretty incredible. You got all these re regimes of, it looked like the Fed was only gonna move 25 base points a time. Then next thing you know, we're going 75 base points at a time. Then it looked like inflation was coming down. Oh, no, in the, in the fall, if inflation's moving up again. Now we get into 2023, looks like inflation is going to come down. Then we get some strong, strong numbers. Central banks have to move again, globally have to move again. Then we have debt ceiling. It's been incredible. I mean, usually you get one regime a year and you try and position for one regime a year. This is, you're getting three to four. I mean, I think this year you've had, you could articulate maybe three regimes this year. Listen, I think the big deal is the markets are global. The tools you can use now are extensive. There's so many things you could do in a portfolio and your ability to create resilience in diversifying your assets. I mean, one thing about fixed income, you know, you're trying to generate return, but you want to make sure you don't have significant downside through default. Now you have so many tools at your disposal to manage it and manage your liquidity. You know, one of the things I think people underestimate in the world today, the uncertainty is high. When you go to execute, when you choose to, you may not find a counterparty at the right price on the other side. You can build in a lot of liquidity to your portfolios today. And so I just think, you know, we look at tools like liquidity, different tools. Where's the best opportunity regionally? Places like emerging markets today, don't you don't have a banking issue, you don't have a debt ceiling issue, and you get a lot of yield. So it's a pretty exciting time around using different ways to get your return, manage your downside risk, and just try and operate. I always call it, you know, what are the big rocks that we have to know about regime? asset allocate relative to it, and then use all the tools you have at your disposal to try and manage that effectively. Rick, thank you so much for taking the time to come down here. Um, I know a lot of people are going to appreciate those insights, so we appreciate the time. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Visit www.ishares.com to view a prospectus, which includes investment objectives, risks, fees, expenses, and other information that you should read and consider carefully before investing. Investing involves risk, including possible loss of principal.